Hey everyone, so today's video is day 5 of booktube a -thon. So I'm just going to start with my updates before I do the challenge for today. I have finished the first book in the Lux Beginnings. This is two books in one. I finished the first one. Uh, I have a lot to say about it. Whoever said that it was like Twilight with Aliens was right, I think it was Ariel Bissette? But I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I have a lot to say about it. I, don't, I just finished it, so I can't really form any thoughts about it. So I don't want to tell you guys anything that I might regret later. Like I did in my last video when I said that I really liked this protagonist. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for my reading updates for today. I am plan on reading maybe the first 50 pages of the second one in the Lux Beginnings book. So today's challenge was to create a rainbow of your favorite books, so let's get into that. Would you guys like to see the rainbow? Okay, I'll show you guys the rainbow. Okay, this is my beautiful rainbow of books, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty proud of it. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. We'll start at the bottom because you know what started at the bottom, now we're here. I have nothing other than Catching Fire by Susan Collins. This is my favorite book in the trilogy. If you haven't read the Hunger Games trilogy, I do not know where you've been, but dump on that. And for my orange book, I have Demon Glass by Rachel Hawkins. I really enjoyed this one too. Second book in the Hex Hall trilogy, I have not read the third one. If you guys have watched a previous video, I know it's for booktube a but yeah, I definitely recommend Hextall and Demon Glass. I really, really enjoyed this book. The main character is snarky and sarcastic and she's just wonderful. And then we have Conversion by Catherine Ho. How? Ho? Um, I do not know how to pronounce her last name in a way that isn't insulting, but I have yet to read this book. It sounds really interesting and I'm really excited to get to it, but I can't find another yellow book that actually looked good with the rainbow, so yeah. I know I have the beginning of everything, but that's on my Kindle and I didn't get the physical copy because I didn't enjoy it. Anyways, yeah, it's about, well, it's about like, I don't know, I know that there's like witches or a witch clan or something. It sounded interesting. And then we have Ignite Me by Tahira Mafi. I think I said that right. Anyways, this book is the third one in the Shatter Me trilogy. This trilogy is all about character development and if you guys didn't like the main character Juliet in the first book, I really get to know her in this last book and I think that this whole trilogy is really worth the read and it was so fun. The words are just so poetic and beautiful and I really enjoyed it. For my blue, we have nothing other than Divergent by Veronica Roth. They're all really familiar with the Divergent trilogy. It's so wonderful and I remember just reading it and being so excited. When I was finished, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And just wonderfulness. And if you haven't read Divergent, again, where have you been? Go, just go pick it up. It just deserves to be picked picked up. And for my purple one we have the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series, Blood Promise. This was probably my favorite book in the series. Maybe Spearbound was, who knows. Yeah, maybe Spearbound was my favorite actually, but this one was just as good. I really enjoyed this series. I did not enjoy the last book for love triangle-y reasons. I will not be spoiling anything. I'm not even gonna tell you which team I'm on, or I was on, because it'll spoil it for you guys, but it's- I think it's worth the read. This entire series, I know the covers are hideous. This cover is hideous, the old covers are hideous, like every single edition of these covers are hideous, and I'm sorry. It's really good. I enjoyed reading these books, and I'm so happy that I did. Anyways, that was it for my day five. Yeah, that was it for my day five booktube a update and challenge video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just so you guys know, I did film my Never Fade book review and discussion, and it was really good. I'm really proud of it, but long story short, I filmed it, I edited all of it. The editing was really good for me because if you guys haven't noticed, I'm not really good at timing the editing. Anyways, it was really good, and I was so proud of it. And then it, and then Windows Movie Maker went. Oh, I can't, I can't find this file on the computer anymore, and every time I tried to reset it, it didn't work, so I had to reset the entire project, so I need to re-edit it. Hopefully, I will get it up. I don't know if I'll get it up tonight, but if I don't, I'll try and get it up tomorrow at like 4 or something like that, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye!